use your emotions against you. <clears throat> Think about it. Even in politics, they, they use emotions. Even in uh, commercials, <laughs> advertising, mm -hmm. don't they use emotions to draw you in? Yeah. You can almost smell the food on the TV. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it turns up. Oh, I've got to go, man. I've got to go down there and out of I can smell that steak. Mm -hmm. I got to go down to Texas Roadhouse. Get me a filet because they're doing an advertisement. Well, imagery is, is huge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Ephesians 5, 11, and 12 says have nothing to do mm -hmm. with the, the unfruitful works of darkness, mm -hmm. but rather expose them. Mm -hmm. he, he tells us to expose the darkness, not to have something to do with the darkness. But you'd be surprised at the churches that are involved in these things. Come on. But he's telling us, go with me to Luke chapter 14. This is just going to be the beginning. I'm going to be here for about four or five hours. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There's a reason Jesus tells us something. 1425. Verse 25. And there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate, which means prefer, hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, hmm. he cannot be my disciple. This means you cannot put anything above the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And you say, well, okay, he wants, you know, preeminence. He wants to be number one. But this is a protection for you. Is what we don't understand. Mm -hmm. You see, Satan, like I was telling you a while ago, will try to use certain things against you to get you to compromise. Right. The whole thing is to get you to compromise and not be obedient mm -hmm. to God's will for your life. Yeah. That's right. the temptation. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it comes to your brothers, your sisters, where it comes to your children, your wife, your husband, wherever it comes to, he's trying to get you to compromise. He's trying to get you to turn from what God's called you to do. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about it. Because Jesus' own brothers came against him. Come on. They didn't believe James and Jude. Right. Mm -hmm. in the books in the Bible, they Come didn't on. believe yeah. in Come Jesus. On. Matter of fact, they even tried to set him up, <laughs> tried to send him to a festival. Go on and go on to that festival. Mm -hmm. and, and the Pharisees were waiting on him to grab him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says, It's not my time to go. Mm -hmm. That's how much. And this was family. Mm -hmm. Family. And, 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 and Jesus could have got emotional about it, got hurt, and said, my goodness, man, this just hurts. And I'm telling you, it does hurt. It stings. All right. It feels like a knife going through you. But guess what? Again, you must realize greater is He that is in us than He's in the world. And if you have denied self and you love Jesus above everything else, you will not compromise no matter what happens. No matter if all leave you, the only faithful one you're going to find, the only faithful one, is Jesus Christ. Amen. I shall lose it. 
And he who loses his life for my sake shall find it. Amen. This is speaking of denial of self. Yes. And I'm telling you, sometimes it feels like you are being sacrificed on that cross emotionally. It's come on. not your fault. Come on. I, you'll, you'll have people that tell you they'll never come to your house again. Come on. People you love. Hmm. Could be your family, could be your daughters, could be your sons, hmm. could be your friends, could be your siblings, somebody that you trust with all your heart, mind, and soul, or someone you love. And they say, I'll never talk to you again. Mm -hmm. As long as you got this stance, I will not come over there. Come on. But you know what you got to do? Come you got to hold your conviction. <laughs> come on now. Don't you let no one turn you from your conviction. That's sorcery. Yeah. You see, Satan's using That's why I'm preaching this. Mm -hmm. He's using this sorcery to get your emotions to say, mm -hmm. I give. Whoop, you stepped on me. I give. I mm -hmm. give. I can't handle this. Yes. Come on. I love them too much. I don't want to lose them. Mm -hmm. If you trust Jesus, you won't lose You won't them. lose them. If you will trust Jesus, trust. Amen. Amen. He's the one that will bring them in through the conviction, Amen. through the seed plant that you're doing with that conviction you got. Amen. But if you bow down to what they're saying, when you know it's evil, Amen. and you go that way, then they don't respect Amen. what you're saying anymore. Yeah, right. And they won't. You've got to hold. hold. They're, they're right there as sorcery. Mm -hmm. That's what the enemy tries to attack many people right now. Mm -hmm. I promise you. I've gone through this and continue to go through this. And I've got to keep my eyes on Jesus no matter how hard it is, no matter what you're in, the tornado, the hurricane. Come on. You've got to keep your eyes Amen. on Jesus. Amen. That's the only way you have perfect peace. Amen. It'll attack all kinds of things in your body mm -hmm. and everything else. But if you hang on, hang on. and you trust the Lord Jesus, That's it. praise God, He's a redeemer. Yes, he will. He'll redeem whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's an illness. Maybe it is a loved one that's come against you. But he's going to redeem that situation, Amen. praise God. Amen. You're his child. Amen. Don't ever give up. Amen. I feel the Holy Spirit on this one. Come on now. Amen. Now we're going to take you somewhere else to a more sinister side Amen. of sorcery. Remember I told you about imagery? Hmm. Yeah. Imagery? Well, it says in Revelation 2, 12 through 13, And the angel of the church in Pergamos write hmm. to the angel of the church in Pergamos, write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works. And where thy dwellest, even where Satan's seat, which is the altar of Zeus, mm -hmm. is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelt. You see, they used to set up an altar. They had an altar back then called the altar of Zeus, and Jesus calls it Satan's seat. Mm -hmm. This thing, they used to try to make the Christians back then, come by and put incense on the altar mm -hmm. and worship Zeus, even though they were told not to do so. Mm -hmm. Many Christians got scared and they, they were, they were uh, I guess they compromised because they were intimidated and they went by and did this. But Antipas would not do this. Mm -hmm. He would not offer sacrifice mm -hmm. to a false god and they killed him there. Mm -hmm. What is so special about this altar of Zeus? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what's so special. Around 1875, a German scientist excavated this thing. And he excavated and he took it to a museum in Germany. And then they made a replica of it. And Hitler was the first one to speak there in 1935. And he gave a speech there. And I mean, it was a huge thing. Because he was imagery. Because this thing, evidently he was portraying something and this evil spirit that was using him. Matter of fact, bewitched demise and had sorcery 